Okay, welcome back here to the Quad Skate Shot track. I'm still Captain Malice. Alongside me now, though, is King Crazy. Hello, King Crazy. Hello, Captain Malice. Good afternoon, Derbyverse. So here we are for the first of the quarterfinals for the yep. Cup. So this is for the main trophy. The, this is the Spirit of Derby trophy. The Spirit of Derby trophy. This will be wearing red, will be Team France. Yep, and they'll be up against, in the blue and white stripes, Team Argentina. I had the joy of announcing Argentina earlier yesterday. They're fantastic to watch. It is. I mean, there's only eight guys as well. I mean, I did. Uh, I was lucky enough to call their mm. first bout against yeah. Team England, and it's just watching them. I mean, for those of you that haven't seen Argentina yet, you're in only, for a treat. Yeah, they've got eight skaters. That's all they've got, uh, and they all. But it's worth watching for number eight, zero eight, El Pibe. El Pibe. I've had that translated for a friend of mine who's Spanish, uh, speaks Spanish. The guy. And he is. He's the guy. He is. To be fair, yeah, that's a very good, very literal translation. Yep. Yeah, their three main jammers seem to be El Pibe, Saato, and Castillo. They're three of the smaller uh, skaters. They also occasionally, number 28, Sanchez, has been out there a couple of times to jam as well. Yeah. Uh, Team France, though, very experienced team here. The, 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 the keel, the spine of the team, tends to be, it looks like, to be Toulouse quad guards. Uh, yeah. They've very, very uh, experienced team, done really well in this building many times. Well, yeah, the Toulouse Quad Guards in this very building in July uh, became the European champions. They did indeed. Uh, yeah. One of the skaters that was a big part of that. Um, you might be surprised if we hear to uh, Kylian David. Kylian David, more commonly known as Mr. Furio. Monsieur Furio. Monsieur Furio, fantastic so, skater. He's now, obviously, he's left the Quad Guards now. He now skates yeah. for Southern Discomfort. Yeah, moved to London. He's, uh, he's uh, out there now. That's a horrible combination of skaters to face, isn't it? Mr. Fury or, or Kylian David, the Reaper, Nanaki, Ballistic. So it's just a list of skaters you don't want to go up against right there. Suddenly and that's, that's before you get into the likes of Spectral mm. and Sutton and Rolling Stoner as and the defensive walls. and Pissed and broke and, and the, the whole, basically. Flat track bully. Oh, man. To, uh, little John as well. Oh, it's no, Little John's left. He's over in Wales now. Oh, has he gone to yeah. Seuss? Yeah, I don't know if he's gone to Seuss, but he's over in Wales. But let's focus on what we've got over here on the quad skate shot. You can see, if you're watching the feed now, the French team warming up in that tight pack. Uh, very easy to pick out, obviously, is Slash Gordon with the hockey helmet with full face shield. Uh, he's had several broken noses over the past year or so, and I think he's had enough of going to the hospital for that. I think he's the only one with a full face shield. I think he's the only one I think I've seen in Derby with a full face shield, to be honest. I'm sure I've seen someone on a live feed, probably with a similar issue with multiple facial injuries. And so, but the majority of the guys from Toulouse, there are Pan Am squad involved as well. Pan Am, Montpellier. Uh, yep. Uh, Amongst others. I'm sure there's someone I'm else. Sure there's, I think it might be Bordeaux. Well, maybe. I can't remember off the top of my head. To, I'll have to see the media guy to check in full. But I think you may be right. I say the winners of this will go on to the semi finals. Yep. And that will be tomorrow morning where they will play the winners of the bout after this on the Quad Skate Shop track which is England versus Australia. We have Roller Derby's Ashes. I, I, I'm going to be very honest. That, I think, is going to be the closest, closest games we've got. But it looks like we're about to get the anthems out shortly. Uh, we'll quickly rip through the rosters before then. We've got Argentina, number 10, Chispata. Number 28, Jose Sanchez, or Jose Sanchez. Nino Asidio is number 99. I think, no, we're going to go for the anthems now. So we'll go through those after the anthems. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, can you please rise for the national anthem of Argentina?
Thank you very much. Now please rise for the French National Anthem. So both sets of fans are in great voice, the Argentinian skaters and the Argentinian fans, the French skaters and French fans, fantastic voice. Quickly going through those rosters, number 10, Gispata, number 28, Sanchez, number 5, Optimus Quad, I believe he's also their captain, Optimus Quad, number 666, The Beast, number 8, El Pibe, number 930, Govera, number 99, Nino Asidio, and number D2, Sir R2. And for Team France, 129, Rocket Bush, 13, Kylian David, 1631, The Cleaner, 2000, Asselhoff, 2012 X Wing, 27 Monkey Business, 31 Angry Bear, 4 NUS Marianas, and we'll carry on after the jam. Uh, it's Kylian David jamming for Team France first up, having a tough time, but picks up Lee Jammer. And it looks like it may be LP Bay at the back, it's been a whole. Oh, no, it's a oh, hard to. Uh, very, very similar looking skaters, both on quite short, slight score with, with oh. mid skaters. Lots of bodies down there. Asselhoff's a little bit slow to get up, but he's all right. Kylian David, in the meantime, picks up. Natural uh, Grand Slam. Natural Grand Slam, five points. Indeed, so Artu really struggling with this strong French wall. And we have the first penalty. It's a direction of play to Slash Gordon. In the meantime, both jammers taken to the outside and forced to recycle. Skaranex trying to trick Sir Artu with a little hop back right before he re-entered. Very wisely, the, the Argentinian skater held off, and he's now through the pack on his first scoring pass momentarily. And Kylian David wasn't best pleased. He'd been knocked out and was shouting at his teammates to take out the guy that knocked him out, but they didn't do it. So just going back to the rosters, mm -hmm. we've got to number 27, at Monkey Business, 31, Angry Bear, 4, NUS, at Maya Yanis, 6, E, 2, 3, at Maelstrom, 95, Hygienic, F22 is Slash Gordon, G4R4, Kendall Heros, K2, Spider Biscott, and X11, Scanix. Okay, 4 3 blocker advantage to the Argentinians. The Argentinians with a very, very short Ross there. Blocker's going to see a lot of track time today. Uh, now it is the times of number 10, Castillo, to try and pick up some points for his country. And I believe it is the cleaner jamming this time for Team France. Strong four wall at the black from Team Argentina. It is indeed the cleaner trying to find some space around the outside. He's through on his first pass. The Argentinians getting straight in the face of the French blockers as Castillo tries to pull his way through the little skater there. Finds some space and so difficult to knock down for a small guy. I say good work from the beast there trying to force the cleaner out. There go Vera, number 930, heading off to the box. There's Castillo and and so we have Rocket Bush taking a star this time for Team France. Uh, I believe that'll probably be it. Yeah, it's LPB at the back there. Fantastic work from that jammer all weekend so far. I've really enjoyed watching it. He's getting so low. I think his head's below the waist of Rocket Bush. That's, that's insane. Little shuffle and a shimmy behind. Oh, tries to find space on the outside. One, two, punch man. It was Spider Biscott who managed just to get the hit on him to slow him down, but not by much. Look at how fast he is. He is speedy. Good technique from the Argentinian skater. Oh, steps around the outside of the French wall through his own and Big cheer from the crowd as he picks up, I believe, that, that four. He four did get points. the four points. 
a little bit of a wave to the crowd as oh, well. Oh, he's a fan favorite firmly there. I think three points for the French though. Just a plus one differential in favor of the Argentinians there. The guy is already scoring. Client <laughs> uh, David, Monsieur Ferrier. Monsieur Ferrier. Got the star this time for Team France. Well, just keep referring to him as David for simplicity's sake, otherwise I'll get confused. <laughs> oh, a confused captain, never a good thing. Oh no, definitely not. Kylian David takes a stumble on the inside. And he's been recycled all the way back there. I believe that was Optimus Quad. Optimus Quad really put on a great show today. I was uh, watching on the warm-up track yesterday. Uh, Quadzilla took the Argentinian blockers aside and was teaching them some tips and tricks. Uh, I think that's really been paying off for the Argentinian blockers. They've really upped their game. In the meantime, Kian David here through his lead jammer. A couple of the French skaters, including Angry Bear, making their way to the Roller Derby City penalty box. As Killian David now is on a power jam as Saartu has picked up a cut track there. There aren't many other jammers at this tournament that you would less like to give a power jam to than Killian yeah, David. He, he is fantastic at taking full advantage of a power jam. He's very, very strong for his slight frame. And he can push a wall, and he can outduke a wall, and he can dance around majestically. He's one of those all-round great skaters. And, and to think he only picked up Derby, I think, about, about six months before the first time he played the men's Euros? Something like that, yeah. yeah. He's not been skating long. He, he's got less skating time here than, than probably most of the international players we're here and seeing here today, and he's one of the best. Oh, as he rides the block there and picks up five more points for his country. France really starting to stretch out a nice, healthy lead early in the first half. France this time, a little bit of offense in there, trying to help clear a path through. I think they've realized that the Argentinian walls are getting stronger and stronger as the weekend's gone on. And they're really, and Killing the V's really having to fight for everything. Big hit to the outside there by Optimus Quad. Fantastic little hip check. I mean, the Argentinian skaters probably all come from a roller hockey background. It's a big sport, I believe, in Argentina. They were the World Cup victors many times uh, in roller hockey. And so they've got great skaters. Look at Optimus Quad. He just keeps going backwards. Scaron X is, is really making that easy on him as well. And both Scaronex and Optimus Quad are have been sent to the box there for a failure to reform penalty. Yep. Fast Girl Skates serving skaters of all shapes and sizes since 2007. So France here now with a four on two blocker advantage. No, four on three, no, nope, two, yeah, three. Stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, four on two? Four on two. We've got a pivot line start. Pivot line seeing some business. That's the first one, I think, for That's me the today. GBMS pivot line. That is a GBMS pivot line. The cleaner there from muscling his way through. Uh, I believe that is Castillo trying to find some space around the outside. Uh, finds monkey business in the way. Uh, but he gets through on a no pass, no penalty as everyone seems to fall down around him. Castillo running straight into the chest of X Wing. And then X Wing tumbling down on top of the Argentinian jammer. And he's looking up expecting a penalty. Again, I believe it was that x -Men again, yep, taken down. He's off to the box uh, as the pivot. And the cleaner there picking up five points for his country. Castillo the out of the pack. And not pass, no penalty on two skaters being indicated by the jam referee. That's two on two. Oh, two on three now in favor of the Argentine. Big hit. Big, big hit no. by Nino Acido pulling his way forward. Nino Acido there deciding, now nah, you're not going to go at me. No, oh, would you really look at the size of the, the blocker there? He's huge. He's got Donny on his back. It's D O double N E Y Donny. So, so this next jam is brought to you by Roller Derby City, Europe's largest supplier of Roller Derby kit and merch. Roller Derby City here, the sponsors of the penalty box. You've seen a fair bit of business after that jam. That's been quite busy, isn't it? Well, let's hope it's not as busy as the last one I just called. Uh, the Germans and, and the Belgians were in and out of there so quickly, it was like it was a revolving door. Must have been a cake sale going on. <laughs> that was exactly what I said. Uh, in the meantime, I believe that it's Rocket Bush with the star for Team France. It is indeed, and he's a very, very agile skater. i say for those of you just joining us, Team France, perhaps a little unfamiliar, are wearing the red, yep. and Argentina are in the their traditional colors of the light blue and white. Optimus Quad there with a fantastic block on Monkey Bush, uh, Rocket Bush, sorry, and taking off track. And again, Donay, a one-two combos. The Argentinian blockers are 
skyrocketed from when they first played yesterday morning. Yeah, they're very just, much so, very much so. They have, it's, it's the same thing you saw with the first um, men's European Championship. Yeah. The, the crash test brummies from their first game to their last game were a different Just team. got better and better all the yeah. time. So we're currently set with just under 22 minutes. Mm. France 43, Argentina 8. Yeah. Argentina really struggling with the strength of the French walls. Uh, they, they're they going to have to adjust and, and rebuild themselves a little bit here as Kalina Vid starts on that almost trademarked predator-like pouncing position he always coils himself into. Uh, LP, they having a tough time with monkey business. El Castillo. Uh, hygienic, oh, sorry, El Castillo, my apologies. And Hygienic as well. X-Wing there coming from the box with some hip checks on Castillo. As Kylian Devi tries to pass Donet at the back of the pack. Uh, Hygienic going for bl uh, blocking out of bounds penalty. Donet now really putting his hips to work against Kylian Devi. He's really struggling there around the corners three and four. And this, is, this is exactly what we've been seeing with Argentina all weekend. They start from the, from the first whistle to the last. They're a different team. They just get Ooh, better. Ooh, cut track given on El Castillo. Oh. And I don't think Kian David realized and called the jam off. No, he didn't. But the defense that the Argentinian has been putting forward is just getting stronger as this game's going forward. Uh, I mean, we're, we're 10 minutes into it, and I think the Argentinian blockers are at least twice as effective as they were from the, at the first whistle. It looks like we have an official review here by Team Argentina. Well, if it might be an official review, might just be a timeout. Well, they've gone into the middle. Going, yep, they're going into the middle. Yeah, uh, the Argentinian team have a translator who you can see there in the white shirt. Uh, some of you may recognize that it's Stomp Trooper from Hells Angels Roller Dames is acting as translator. She's actually Argentinian. She's acting as translator for them here this weekend. Uh, she's to make sure, uh, because there was a wonderful point made by Statman uh, on the Monday that no team should be limited. Yeah. Uh, into the putting their best foot, their best team forward by language. Exactly. So we're allowing extra bench staff to act as translators, which is, I think has been a wonderful thing, loading in the spirit of Derby here. Very much so, very much so. Whilst this official review is going on, let's just remind you here that if you are enjoying listening to this, please do drop us any money you can spare uh, so we can keep putting on events like this. Any money you do uh, donate to us, will be split 50-50 between ourselves and the travel costs of all the international teams who've come here this weekend. Uh, there is a link at the top of the broadcast page. Uh, you can donate there. And for those of you who are native Spanish speakers, there is a Spanish language feed on the alternate language feed. If you do want to switch over to that, feel free. I won't be offended if Spanish is much more easy to understand. That's perfectly insane. <laughs> of course. And of course, with the donations, the money doesn't actually go to myself and Mallet, no, unfortunately. No, It'd be nice if it did. No, no, we're fine. We're, we're okay. <laughs> but now it's split between basically the event and the cost yes. we have, the stage in this, especially the live broadcasts, yeah. the alternate language feeds, the tweets, mm -hmm. and everything else, all the technical side of things, the production costs, basically. Yeah, I mean, running a tournament of this size and scope is, is definitely a big job here. I know this has been planned out for months in advance. I say so 48 plays, 8, 20, 46 left on the clock. Yeah, but let, let's remember, I've seen Argentinian jammers post 35 points very, very quickly in one jam. 20 of them with the opposition jammers still on track. Yes. They, they can go. Oh, yeah, there's absolutely no doubt about it. It's, yeah, 48 points with just 10 minutes into an hour-long bout. Oh, yeah. And for those of you that were watching yesterday with the half-an-hour bouts, these are the full-length hour bouts today. Yeah, indeed. So the full MRDA regulations. Yep. And speaking of the MRDA, the Men's Roller Derby Association would like to wish all the teams competing in the Men's Roller Derby World Cup the best of luck this weekend. The MRDA is the international governing body for men's flat track roller derby and wants you to join them in the growing world of men's roller derby. For more information about joining and the benefits of being part of the MRDA, visit them at the men's roller derby association.com or send inquiries and inf to info at men's roller derby association.com. Okay, just had an update of what the official review was. It was challenging the cut track call on the jammer, who I believe was our Casti uh, Castillo. Castillo. Uh, and the call stands, so there's no change to the penalty there. So this is a power jam to Team France. 
And from here, I believe it is the cleaner who has the star. It is, and round the outside, huh? excellent defensive work there from the French blockers to sweep away the Argentinian wall as the cleaner picks up Lee Jammer status. And he's now going to have to force his way through the middle of the Argentinian wall. So Optimus Pod doing what he can, but there's five in the sky for the cleaner. So it's just Team France at the moment employing the passive offense. Well, with a with jammer of the standard of the cleaner, he's going to pick up points pretty easily on his own. Well, I haven't said that. He was just recycled back. I believe it was Optimus Quad that forced him back, but this time he gets through five in the sky. He does indeed. I mean, these Argentinian blockers are big, strong, and they can skate. I mean, you see blockers like this dancing around like some beautiful jammers. There. It's beautiful offense there from Scaranex, yeah. uh, clearing out the path. You know, making the five-point pass a lot easier for the cleaner. Rivera and Beast shuffling around to try and resist that sweep, and there it does work for them. Oh, back block. And with Castillo out of the box already, the he cleaner will serve the full minute. This jam is going to go for two seconds. minutes. Uh, no, well, there's 40 seconds left, so, or 47 seconds left. So I believe the Argentinians, as long as Castillo stays safe, will be starting on a power jam. Oh, plows through Maelstrom. Uh, Kandar head off, sent to the box for blocking out of play, I believe. I mean, you're seeing that Castillo is a small guy, and he is blocking guys twice his size out of his way. So we're also seeing Gravara make his way to the penalty box. That was a multiplayer block. Maelstrom there very wisely taking Castillo off track and then running him back. Now Castillo's going to fight through Skaranex and, Mel and Melton again. They try and run him back once more. You can hear the Scottish drums there in support of the Argentines. <laughs> Castillo picking up four points, I believe. Can't see the thumb. It should see a thumb, I believe. I think there is a thumb there yeah, for there's, Castillo. There's, there's the fifth, <laughs> yep. Okay, now El Pibe, he's going to be starting on a power jam. Oh, it doesn't look like he is. There's a jammer on track. I don't think he should be. We'll see what happens. Here. Oh, ah, there he goes. It. Rocket yeah. Bush. <laughs> I, was like, I thought, yeah, it should be a power jam, but yeah. Rocket Bush had gone on there. A little bit of a breakdown in communication. As Angry Bear and the Blue X Wing go to the GB EMS pivot line. Oh, LP Bay ducks under Angry Bear. And he is out. Ah, Statman has rockets in his. I think in this point, we're just going to shut up and watch this. The Blue Axe. Oh. 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 Yeah, action speak louder than words. We're gonna, just going to let you guys enjoy that one. <laughs> Partly because we just want to shut up and enjoy it. Oh, yeah, so the cleaner there. So he's now back on track. He's doing what he can to get past this strong arm team. <laughs> El Pibe. I'm sure how that happened right in front of us. There was oh. not space El Pibe's gone face up the cleaner, and he's... Oh, he's going to play with him. <laughs> oh, I was hoping to knock him down. So, Green Monster Roller Sports, all new. Visit us today at greenmonster.com. That's greenmonster.com without the vowels. G-R-N-M-N-S-T-R.com. <laughs> the vowels are important to words. The vowels are, but not to greenmonster.com. No, it doesn't appear they are. Well, LP Bay are definitely a fan favorite. If you're watching on the feed, you can see we've got a nice big crowd here over on the Quad Skate Shop track. Uh, Rocket Bush takes lead jammer around corner one. So R2 there rides a hit from Spider Biscott, and he is out of the pack. The French here trying to assist their jammer and make things easier by breaking apart the Argentinian wall. Doing so. Three points was that? I think so. Yep, that's three in the sky. Yeah, they're doing what they can. They realize the Argentinians are much stronger than they've expected. Yeah, so current score 68 to France in the red, 23 to Argentina in the blue and white, mm. with 16 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Remember, this is an hour-long bout. We are under uh, regulation conditions now. Now we have the chaos of yesterday and the group stages out the way. <laughs> yeah, 21 half-an-hour bouts yesterday. Uh, Kylian David standing in the middle. It looks like everyone's still trying to find a way yeah, Kilo is trying to, to channel or funnel, as it were, the Argentinian jammer into his wall and does so quite well. Ooh. Oh, 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 here we go. This is it. Oh, yeah. Kian versus LP Bay. 
Furio and the guy. Furio and the guy. <laughs> oh, wonderful work there by the Argentinian blocker protecting his point. I successfully. Successfully. Pointless jam. Well, Double okay. goose egg. I told you, they just get better. They do. They're, I mean, they have the skate skills walking in the door. Yeah. And they're just learning Derby better and better as this game's going on. So what you're seeing with Argentina is they've got um, Soratu, El Pibe, and Castillo that are doing the jamming. jamming and basically the rest of the guys are just staying on blocking. Yep. Um, they've got one other, 28 Sanchez, who occasionally jams, but it's mainly those three. They keep their bigger guys for blocking. And this time they're trying to block the cleaner, but he gets around the outside. Picks up the lead, jammer status. Yeah. Angry Bear and X-Wing trying to do what they can to hold back Castillo. Castillo That's fighting with Angry Bear. Those hips of Angry Bear do cover the track well. As cleaners are out of play called, so cleaner picks up five point natural, well, not quite natural grand slam, but still five points. Still five points. Big, big hit by the Argentinians to help out their jammer. Not the legal, not legal. Was, um, <laughs> Sanchez is going to the box for that one. Uh, but if you're going to do it, take out two for the prop one. Yeah, why not? That's a twofer. <laughs> <laughs> Castillo really struggling here with these French rules. They, they, I think the French have settled this one down where they've, they've got a tactic in place of getting in front and trying to absorb and slow down and sap the energy of the Argentinian jammers. Although what might help him is Kandau Heros has just gone to the, to the Robo Derby City box for a um, multiplayer block. Mayanis has been skating back on track, so straight away they're getting a biggest help. So they're still up to a three wall, but Argentina now has two blockers on track. And they're looking to focus on defense still as they're holding off the cleaner. Yeah, Guayva and I believe yeah, Optimus Pod doing what they can. And Rivera picks up a multiplayer block. Castillo really struggling with X-Wing here. X-Wing, a very agile, nimble skater. He's another one that there's not a lot to him, but he's, it's not so much the power as the time and the positioning of his hits. You know, I've had the pleasure of watching the quad guards quite a lot. It's yeah. who X-Wing skates for. Indeed. And he is surprising for that. And that time it's Maya Yanis, another one. Yeah. Although Guevara just says, nah, we clear you out of the way. Oh, Sanchez. Sanchez, Sanchez sorry, my apologies. Yes. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure what is going to be. Oh, that's really nice. A high five and a handshake between the two guys. Um, someone's going to the box, but I'm not sure who. I think, yeah, it's 28 Guevara, I believe. Sorry, 28 San Sanchez. I uh, got that one there. He's going to be. He's going to be told to go back on track. No, He's going to be standing. queuing. Yeah, but there's also two sat oh. down. <laughs> you have to have one blocker on yeah. the track. So Sanchez is the entirety of Argentina's blockers here. And he's up against Rocket Bush. Yeah, and you've got El, I think it's El Pibe out of the back here. El Pibe, he's, there's the whistle. So 92-23 in favour of France at the minute. They're trying to funnel into the engagement so they can take away the agility of the Argentinian jammers. Very, very smart play there. They've accepted that uh, Sir R2, Castillo, and LP Bay. Bay are all really agile. And, Ooh, just well and done. They're, they're forcing them into an engage on the wall and then trying to sap their will and move them off track. Wise play, very, very veteran maneuvers by the French. No pass, no penalty signal yeah. there for Sir R2, so he's allowed to carry on. Slash Gordon there with a big hit on Sanchez. Sanchez, I believe, still owing the penalty box a minute. He should be instructed to go and serve now. Ah, but I don't think so. I think there's still two sat down. Oh, there is. Yeah. I, I can't. There's the bench in the way. So Sanchez will have to stay on for a third. Uh, so France have now hit three figures. Uh, they are on 101 against Argentina's 23. Got the beast here in Sanchez blocking for Argentina. Bay lines up against Kylian Avila. And this is now my favorite contest of the day. The guy versus the furious. This is it. Oh, wonderful recovery there by Sanchez. Strong blocking, beautiful hip check from the beast. Lovely work here by Sanchez again. As El Pibe gets lead jammer. He's oh, not lead jammer. This Furian, uh, Kylian no. David had already been given oh, lead jammer. But he's out front. Sorry, I got overexcited. Calm yourself down, dear boy. 
You do realise we're barely, this is the first of four quarterfinals. This is the last one I'm working today, apparently. Oh. On, on, on feed, I think I might be helping out with the international feed later on. Ah, right, okay. Uh, just a quick shout out, look us up on Instagram under MRDWC. Share photos of yourself enjoying. Who knows, we may put some of those photos out on the stream. I've been taking photos here of the crowd and I've really been enjoying watching fans in full voice supporting all these international teams here. So, I mean, that's one of the things that we have seen. The crowd have got behind pretty much everybody. Yep. And why not? This has been a great weekend of Derby here. And so both jammers forced to recycle now. I believe that's Castillo. It's R2. That's R2. Cast I will get that right at Castillo's some point. Castillo's the one who's clean shaven. Okay. R2 has a beard that's quite. Um, he's not as short as a well, Pibe, yeah. It's a hor they're, they, they're very similar in build and size, but it's down to beards for the most part. I will. Oh, we have a cut track. The cleaner is off. Is off to the box. And we have a power jam for Argentina, and you can probably hear the crowd. And if the live feed can see it, the amount of people doing the power jam signal is quite amusing. The up and down fist pump of power jam goodness. As uh, so R2 picks up five points for Argentina. Argentina, uh, though, very far behind here. Team France on 101 points, as Argentina currently on 28. Uh, four on three pack advantage is Maya. Oh, Maya Anas. There's all sorts there. Uh, it was the... It was Nino Acido that went down. Somebody tripped over the top of him. I didn't see who. I believe that would be the block at the back there in the white helm. I think is Hygienic. Yeah, it's Hygienic. He went down, I believe, over there. However, Nino Acido did go to the box there for a low block. But, that, but in the meantime... It's still Sir R2 picking up points for Argentina. The beast is standing watch via close to the, uh, the channel line. He's watching out for this game. A big hit from the beast there on number 21, I believe, is Monkey, sorry, 27 Monkey Business. So R2 stands up and calls the jam. Some good work there defensively, especially from Hygienic in that yeah, jam. Yeah, Hygienic, very, very experienced skater, very solid blocker all round. Looks like, is it going to be? Yep, that's Al Pibe starting on the power jam for Argentina, but he has. Three French blockers to pass in Slash Gordon, Asselhoff, and Sierra Enix. Uh, the cleaner is stood, so he has less than 10 seconds until he's back on the track. So it'll be a short and power jam. Oh, give LP a chance, he'll get lead, and that's all he'll want. But that's some fantastic defensive work here from Asselhoff and Slash Gordon. It's a forearm major on somebody. Oh, forearms, yep. Oh, it's it on LP Bay. There's LP with the forearms. Cleaner here on a power jam. Three Argentinian blockers to pass. You've got the Beast, Guevara, and I think that is Optimus Quad there wearing the pivot panty. But he gets through for the five point Grand Slam. Uh, now they're getting uh, Done back as well. So that's, that's all four blockers here for Argentina. Slash Gordon. Yep, getting called for the direction of gameplay penalty. Off goes Slash Gordon. Now all, all Argentina bullying the cleaner off track. And that's going to see the beast go for a back block on that one. Cleaner now getting his will sapped here by Guevara and Doné. He just makes it out of the pack. Oh, he's taken down the inside. He's going to have to crawl off track and get behind Guevara. I think that's Optimus, Optimus Quad making his way for a multiplayer yeah. block. Duh. Big, big hit again from Doné. That's number 99, also calling on the name of Neo Asiro. I'm saying Gravar, I think, will have to stay on track. I think he is queuing. He is queuing. Uh, he holds the box. No room at the inn? No room at the inn, indeed. All the cakes are sold. So, so Arty coming on to block here, I believe. Uh, we have a timeout signaled by Argentina, Argentina with six and a half minutes to go. Uh, Argentina on 38, France are on 111. Nelson, for all you cricket fans out there, some of you will know what I'm talking about. Most of you probably won't, Bulldogs including the American sat yeah. next to me. <laughs> What's cricket? <laughs> so, yeah, this is uh, six minutes and 29 seconds left on the clock. Argentina really struggling to uh, take full advantage um, 
of any times they've had getting their jammers out of the box. I mean, yeah. The French defense has been phenomenal so far. It has been. I think that's what's showing with the depth of the experience. Uh, just a reminder that the winner of this bout will play the winner of the Ashes battle, yes. England versus Australia. The Roller Derby Ashes. Yeah, which is due on this track, on the Quad Skate Shop track, at 2.30. Yep. And that's going to be a very interesting, and watching the Australians play has been uh, quite eye-opening. They've got a great, uh, great set of skaters there with fantastic beards. <laughs> I believe they're winning the, uh, the, the the best beers of the tournament battle so far. Uh, I, mean, I think I'm placing number four at the moment. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sat in between two very good beers myself here. I'm sort of feeling left out. Oh, this, this is my, just my <laughs> five o'clock shadow. Uh, anyway, back to business. Indeed. Occasionally we can be professional. Oh, of course. So R2 here <laughs> blocking now for Argentina. Uh, Guevara, Guevara queue for the boxer. So R2 will be on his own. Oh, no. No, so yeah. R2's gone off and Don it a. is... Uh, Nino Asido. Nino Asido, yes. He's got Donny on his shirt, so I'm calling him Donny. That's, okay. that's my rule. That's, that's, I think that's the simple way of doing it, because otherwise there's still the, everything's wrong. Paperwork. Oh, there's a little bit more delay going on now. I believe that is Rocket Bush that has the star on ready to start this jam for Team France. Yeah, looks like they're going to have to sort the clock out. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah. As I say, it was on 6.29 when it started, <laughs> and we haven't started, and it's now on 5.45, so I think that could be what it is. Someone pressed the button too soon. <laughs> too, what, too soon? Too soon they pressed the button. Too soon. <laughs> Okay, well, six minutes and 29, wasn't it? Yeah, six yeah it's six, where it should be. 6.29, I think, is where it was when we were reading out. Mm. Oh, it's gone up to 6.32. Well, the official clock is held by the jam timer. The, the what's on there is yeah, it's roughly there. So, we're getting ready now. Hopefully, we'll be back underway fairly soon. So... France in the red, start with a power jam for number 129, Rocket Bush. Argentina Up. in the traditional white and light blue stripes as Rivera and Don H do their best to slow Rocket Bush with an excellent pushing them off the track. Awesome. Beautifully knocked down to the inside by the gold helmet That's wearing Maelstrom. I believe that was actually, oh, I think it was no. Kendall Harris. It's kind of it, it's because he's got a six and a G, and they look the same to me in my bad eyes. A little oh. bit of show of skill there from LP as he hops the apex. That'll please the crowd. Always. Everyone loves an apex drunk. In fact, the uh, the model on top of the, the cup that's being awarded, the Spirit of Derby Cup, is modeled on an apex jumps being committed by Rex Tangle of Team England. That's being uh -huh. affectionately called Apex Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Rivera and Donny still on track here as. 3-2 blocker advances in favour of the French. Uh, Kian David with the star. Uh, Sanchez, yes, Sanchez jamming for the first time today. And uh, he is one of the alternate, Joe. he's the alternate jammer. If the little guy is having a little troll, big hits to the outside by Monkey Business and Angry Bear. In the meantime, Kian David does have lead jammer. Oh, oh what? nearly, nearly. Loses footing, hopping around. The block being put up there by Donne. However, somersault from Guevara. Uh, monkey business on his way to the box for a track cut. Sanchez makes his way through the pack as the Beast and uh, sorry, Ultimate Squad rejoin him. Little shoulder shrug there by Donne, but not enough to knock him off track. Now uh, we're really seeing here the uh, French put on a. Just saying, okay, we can block. Uh, yeah. Now they're going to see some things here. The French have really made the Argentinians work for every point. And seeing that really come out to play. And there's no doubt the Argentinians have earned every one of the 38 mm. points that they have. Oh, very well worked. I mean, the, aside from one power jump, a lot of it's been the four points here, four points there, a couple yeah. here, a couple here. And that power jump, I think they got nine or ten, and that's been about it. As you see, number 10 Castillo jamming here. He goes for a four arms. It'll be the having your arms in contact for three seconds or longer. Which so gives cleaner here a chance to pick up the lead jammer, which he does. And so he is three now. It's three on three in the pack. Myers pushing the beast off track, which is quite a feat. The beast, the big guy. Oh, he comes sliding across, and direction of gameplay catches the cleaner in the hip. It seems to have taken something out of the cleaner. He's really going much slower now. 
He goes against the heart who, who does what he can, but on his own. And his Optimus Quad is also on his way. He puts yeah. up a direction of gameplay penalty. Yeah, so R2 on his own, and as a blocker, you don't want to be on your own, ever. But he did, he did almost, he's Go almost uh, given it everything that he's got. Optimus he can, Quad returning to the track loads, there's no room at the end. There is not. You've got to do what you can as a blocker. So R2 joining his team at the back of the pack. They've got big direction of gameplay blocked by a hygiene because he goes clockwise straight into Sartu. Uh, they've now got Otis Quad and Rivera back on track. So there's three Argentinian blockers as Monkey Business does what he can as the cleaner goes into Sartu. Who rides Ooh, the block. Lovely, Just. lovely, lovely little pirouette there from the cleaner. France now leading 144 to 38. Two minutes and change left on the clock. So we have, looks like Rocket Bush once more with the star for Team France. And he'll be lined up against... I think it's still Castillo still in the box. Yeah, Good way to come back on. Well, this next jam, which is the Power Jam, is brought to you by Team France. Team France is proud to be sponsored by Sergeant Papers and Shock Design. In the meantime, Rocket Bush has your lead jammer. Castillo is out of the box, but struggling to deal with the Maelstrom. In the meantime, Rocket Bush gets through, picks up four points, and cools it off. Kandar Hero is a big hit on Saar two towards the end, then knocking him down. But he's back up, he's fine, as El Pibe takes the jam line, and he's going up against Killian Duffy. Uh, three on two pack advantage this time for Team France. These, these, these oh, was it two on two now? Two on two. So uh, that's excellent there. It's uh, Kendall Hellos along with Hygienic is sat in the box for Team France. Yeah. And we have the GBEMS pivot line start. We do indeed. GBEMS are the only UK RDA endorsed medical team. They've been here all weekend. Thankfully, we've not needed them too much. Uh -huh. uh, oh, LP Bay is out first, but he is not lead jammer. There's a no pass, no yeah, penalty signaled. So Kian David is lead jammer, realizes, calls it off very quickly. That's the experience. That is, that's it. I mean, the, the, the French here have all plenty of experience as skaters. The Argentinians, I believe most one only one of them had ever played an open bout before yesterday. He came from, I want to say, I think it was Harm City in Baltimore. Right. Uh, I, remember, I think it's Guevara, but please don't quote me on that. I've not got my rosters in front of me, and I'd feel terrible to get it wrong. I will check everything to see if I've got it listed. Yep, Rafael Rivera, number 930 from Harm City Homicide. The Very rest nice. are from Buenos Aires Conspiracy and Thunder Quadro. Oh, and Rio Najero. And in the meantime, the cleaner once more picks up Lee Jammer. The cleaner here having a great game. Castillo really struggling with these walls, but his toe stop. Oh, no. Head in his hands, Castillo cut track just before corner one. The cleaner with another chance to abuse a power jam, which he's been doing very effectively so far today. Donay there confirming the referee that he is off to the box, which he skates off to. The wonderful thing we've seen here with the, uh, the non-English speaking skaters being been allowed a little bit of yeah. leeway by the referees. I was about to, to say calls. Yeah, because obviously yeah, the guys that don't speak English, they're not quite sure, is it me, is yeah. it not? I'm not, I'm not speaking English, but not English is the second or yeah. the third language. They need that confirmation. The Beast here very wisely staying off track whilst the jam was being blocked. He didn't want to give away an OPAC. Now he's jumping on the back of the pack, and the French run straight back to try and ghost him. Goat him, even. Ghost him? Ghost him. That's a different thing entirely. However, the Beast is he's living on the there. track cut. And Slash Gordon goes for the big hit, knocking him down, and the Beast. Stumbles right. getting back up. Uh, he stumbles, but he is back up on his feet. And here comes Castillo with all four French blockers to pass. Uh, he's really struggled so far this half. I mean, he's a little guy, and I think the French are really out muscling him. He's against uh, Maelstrom, I believe, 62 3. He's doing the damage from the Pan Am squad at the back. The Argentinians realizing this. They're trying to front goat here. They managed to knock uh, Heroes off track, but they were trying to go. You want to keep a hold of them, not keep them off track. So now they've, they've dropped back further and they're trying to help out their jammer. The steel runs into Slash Gordon. My apologies, it wasn't Maelstrom, it was Hygienic of the quad guards. 
Uh, as Kendajeros makes his way to the penalty box. Oh, late block there from Scare and X, but no call. It must have been just before the last of the fourth whistles. So we're now sat here. We are at half time. Yeah. Okay, scores on the doors. If I can just see the points here, we've got 38 to Argentina, uh, France on 166 points. Uh, big score so far from the French. Uh, we've got half time here, so it's going to be about. 20 minutes till the second half starts. We'll be back with you, say, in about 15 minutes. Something or so. like that, yep. Uh, so we'll speak to you about that. Now we're going to pass you some messages from our sponsors. Okay, we're back here at the quad skate shop. So our half time is nearly over. Uh, there's been a mechanical failure on El Pibe's skate. He has broken a wheel. That's how hard he skates. So he won't be starting just yet. He'll be here in a little bit. He's getting some repairs done to his skate. But we've had some tweets from Argentina. Here's one I've had translated by the Spanish language announcer. Gimme Daff, or oh, sorry, at Gimme Daff, has translated this as, I am so proud of the men's roller derby team. They are eight gladiators. I think that is the best I description think, I've heard of them. I think, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty fair. So for those of you that have just joined us, it's France in the red on 166. Argentina in a traditional blue and white are on 38. And from the final score from the Royal Derby City track was Finland 316 against Sweden's 135, which will mean Finland will be going into the... They will play the Netherlands yes. later this evening. I think that's at half past six half this past evening. Uh, and Sweden will be playing tomorrow morning. Yeah, I believe it'll be the loser of Belgium versus Japan. I believe so. No, I think it's the winner. The winner, OK. We'll double check later. Yes. As Castillo's there is your lead jammer for Argentina. The cleaners getting really beaten up. A lot of big hits coming in from the Argentinian blockers. Every time he got up, somebody else came past and floored him. As I said in the first half, Argentina just get better and better as the game goes on. Their blockers are just going from strength to strength. As there you go, as Castillo picks up a natural grand slam, all the points for the Argentinian jammer. And he wisely calls the jam as the cleaner is out of the pack. Uh, you see a few fans here sporting the, uh, the red and the blue from Team France. So they're currently skating in red. Argentina again in their traditional blue and white stripes. See a few of those t-shirts being sold as well for, uh, from their merch team. You see some new fans they're making. So yeah, there's been... I think some of the teams have done some very good business on the match this weekend. Well, the Japanese sold out in 15 minutes, as you can see here. Maybe El Pibe rejoining his bench. He's now got his wheel repaired, or replaced probably. As you see, Castillo trying to find some space around the outside. Oh, no, cut track on, I believe, Monkey Business. Yeah, it was Monkey Business that just forced Castillo to the outside. Ran his hips back very wisely, did the French blocker. Monkey Business having a really good game. Yeah, Monkey Business, he's one of those skaters that you don't really notice. He's not a jammer, he's not a huge hitter. He's what I like to call a glue skater. He just holds it all together. Yeah, I mean, I've, I played against his team, Pan Am Squad, last year at the European Championship. And he wasn't the power hitter, but he was always in the way. He was, he was definitely a problem skater to deal with as an opposition player. Yeah, exactly. In the meantime, uh, Rocket Bush, I believe that is, just keeps wrecking up the points. Yeah, the Argentinians have not been able to get a hold of him, really. He pops off to the outside there by Sanchez. Diving forward, X-Wing. Oh, lovely little lift there from Rocky Bush to dodge the hit on the inside line. So, a bit of self-sacrifice from X-Wing there to open the door. Uh, that's how these blockers work. There's monkey business trying at that time. Rocky Bush gets through this time. The Argentinians have not been able to keep together here. The, the beast that saw the hit coming from Monkey and just got low. Yeah. And that's what we you drill players, just get low. And he got so low that Monkey Business nearly fell on top of him. The beast could have been giving him a piggyback ride. So there's one person you don't need to tell to get low, LP Bay. Oh no, he knows <laughs> he gets low and he goes. But he's gonna have to wait for uh, Castillo to make his way from the box and get back to the bench cleanly. As France now stretching out this lead to 191 points over Argentina's 43. Uh, it's Kian David who takes the star this time for Team France and picks up the lead jammer, despite the best efforts there of Sanchez. He's doing what he can. Uh, Kylian David is not the kind of skater who ever gives up a star easily. Oh, what a lovely move that is. 
spinning pirouette roundly inside, somehow managed to stay on the track. He's one of those skaters naturally talented. Uh, Makes you sick, doesn't it? A little bit. I, mean, <laughs> I, I can train as hard as I like. I'm, I, I don't think I'll ever have the agility he has. He just has that, that natural gift. But he, he works hard. You can't take that away from him either. Oh, yeah, there is that, you know, the work that the guy puts in. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just see that completely different style as he goes in shoulder first, yep. trying to blast his way through. As Arcelor manages to take down Castillo at the front of the pack, and Spider Big Scott recycles him all the way back. I think Castillo's really let those cuts get to him. He's not taking any risk, running right to the back of the pack every time. See, as he goes here, he may not have cut. Monkey business, sorry, Maelstrom, but he's not taking that risk. Yeah, I think whoever it was that knocked him out, the beast got in the way and stopped and dropped him back. But Monkey Business thought, you Maelstrom. know, sorry, Maelstrom, sorry, thought, you know what, we'll try it and see if he follows me, and he did. Uh, it's, 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 it's a wily tactic, it's one you can get away with quite easily because a lot of jammers are really, really cautious. Oh, Kian David, track cut. Uh, that's always been a weakness of the French jammer there, he's, he's prone to the cut track. Now here's a chance for Castillo to get through. Powerful blocking from the Argentinians. Castillo makes his through on his initial pass. I think I know what's going to happen here. I think we're going to see LPB on the on the. Uh, I think LPB may well take the star oh, next up. Oh, monkey business and Spider Biscott doing what? Sorry, Angry Bear and Spider Biscott doing what they can to slow down Castillo. He picks up three, four. I think that's three points. See. No, it is four. four. It's a four. The little, he's got little, little fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and look, I called it. There's little Pebe lining up. The world bows to your psychic knowledge. Oh, um, <laughs> it's, it's, I've worked bench staff. I, 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 I can tell lines. It's, it's what I've done before. You, know. you, you, you see as much derby as we have. You, exactly. you get used to that, especially over here on the continent. I say, we have an official timeout at the minute. Exactly. And just to say, if you are enjoying the broadcast, not just from us, but from the whole weekend here on the roller skate shop track, or sorry, the quad skate shop track, or on the roller derby city store, then please go to the MR, MRDWC.com and look at the link and make a donation. So, uh, so make the money for us, that would be absolutely fantastic. So, so just having a... A little bit of a delay at the minute once the official review is going on. So as soon as we know, we'll let you know. Yeah, number 99, Donet is fouled out, unfortunately. This is going to make things really difficult for Argentina. They're down to seven skaters now. Uh, Monsieur Furio also has two minutes. I'm not quite sure what the second penalty was for. Uh, uh, I think it was for coming into the, the penalty box and actually damage, like bouncing off the seats. Ah, so like, unsafe entry into the yeah, penalty unsafe box. Unsafe entry. That's that's a. He must have been coming in with gusto to really. So this is now a chance for Alpibe to so, really rack up some points. Yeah, it's not good. We need to look after our NSOs because without yes. the NSOs, we couldn't have these events. All uh, the officials. All, all the officials, the referees, and all the volunteers. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah it's a massive thank you to everybody that helps to put these events together. As El Pibe takes lead jammer on the straightaway. Um, Sanchez Maya. take it trying to keep Maya Alice back. As they're now they're basically they're just playing with Maya Alice. However, Maya Alice did come back up, didn't come back on the track. Sanchez kept going back and ignored the failure to reform. Cool, so he'll go and sit in the box. Again, there it comes into that experience that the French players have here. The Argentinians really doing their country proud. They're on a great display of Agility, strength, and skating. And if you can hear from the ambient feed, the crowd are loving the Argentinians today. Which is great to see from a predominantly English crowd. It is, yes. Obviously, our nation's had some history recently and in the past, but it's a great display of spirit here. Yeah, don't mention the hand of God. Definitely not mentioning that one. <laughs> <laughs>
Back to back jams. Back to back jams from the beast. He's living up to his name right here. Well, this is it. I think, I mean, Argentina, they've come here with eight skaters. So they've only got seven now. Yeah, we've done A's foul out. And so that was uh, Dona. Oh, we've got another one that's going now. Gravara has gone as well. So they're now down to six players. This is the concern that I had for Argentina mm. today uh, because we knew that they only had eight and a half an hour bouts yesterday. Yep. They could kind of get away with it. But with the hour long bouts today, the fatigue, yeah, after the effort they put in yesterday, it was always going to, the concern was going to be how many are they going to finish with? This is it. If they go down to six, I mean, this is it. They're down to six skaters now, so the jammer gets pressed. So is that, you said it was the Beast again with the star? The Beast is doing double duty here. He's he's living up to his name as that is Rocky Bush's lineup on the outside. And he's pow, powerful, powerful stride there from Rocky Bush. As Love. Lexering leaves the apex to get back in front of the Beast, but he can't get his feet underneath him. And oh, ooh, elbows call on the Beast. But the, however, we're going to get a jam switch away. It was a high block major high called block. on Rocky Bush. Yeah. So he'll sit down. But uh, Castillo's off the box as well. I didn't see the call, but to so R2's back on track, as is the Beast. The Beast is now, well, this is going to go for the full well, two minutes. So this will be one minute 24. All right, it looks like the high, no. High Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Rocket Bush took out Slash Gordon. As the Beast took out the jam referees. That's a slide tackle there from Rocky, which that's really dangerous. He must have lost control of himself. I say, he can actually count himself lucky. It was his own teammate that he yeah, hit. Yeah, that would have been an expulsion if it had been an Argentinian skater. As the Beast just powers through two blockers with the forearms. So here we go. Eight. Someone's going to be serving two It's going to be the power jam now for Rocket Bush. And Rocket Bush cut track on number 28, Sanchez. Sanchez proud of himself there for what he's doing. So now what we're going to have here, I think... Oh, I'm not sure about that. I thought because we've had both jammers in the box, I thought he would have to stay there, but maybe not. No, only if Rivera owed more than a minute, I believe. No, I thought, uh, uh, it's the vagaries, but whoever, who cares? He's back, the Beast is back out on track. Beast is back on track. He's not anymore, he's not. Hygienic, Maelstrom, and X Wing between them. Uh, Rocket Bush is back out. Uh, the Argentinians caught napping there by Rocket Bush as he does make his way through, picking up four more points for France. So, skater Blue Streak with Fast Girl Skates, designers of the Blue Streak boot with unparalleled comfort fit, style, and performance. So, we have just under 19 minutes left. We have a team timeout by the looks of it uh, for Team Argentina. Currently, Argentina in the blue and white on 72, France in the red on 224. Just a reminder, the winners of this bout will play in the semi-finals tomorrow morning and that will be against the winners of England and Australia. Things going from bad to worse for the Argentinians. They've had two foul outs, and now the medics have been making their way to the Argentinian base. And if you can hear on the ambient feed, this crowd is back in the underdog. I can see even French skaters to my right are clapping along with the rest of the crowd. So one of the skaters that we can, that we can see from here, yeah, from Braveheart, Braveheart from oh, the quad yeah. guards. Brave. Now he's leading the French in a big chant for their nation. 19 minutes and one second left on the clock. As France on 224 points to Argentina 72. So here we go, we're back underway. I believe that's number 28, Sanchez jamming for Argentina. As Kylian David takes lead jammer around corners one and two. 
Sanchez really trying to fight his way past Slash Gordon. Slash doing great work there to keep Sanchez out of the way and knocking him off track. In the meantime, Kian Davi picks up another five points for France. Yeah, the French here really showing that they want to have a good, good show. And they're going to win this. They're, that's what they're aiming for this one. No, no holding back as Sanchez tries to make. Oh, beautiful work. Oh, taken down there, Viva. With scary an exit at the front. Slash Gordon has been sent to the box for and what looked like a direction of gameplay. And Scaran X is off the box as well, so some no pass, no penalty on Sanchez. That's why he is clean out of the pack. Whistles and called. Lee received by uh, uh, He's off the box as well. The French re losing three blockers in quick succession there. Candel Hero is going to have to remain on track as the box is full. So just a quick recap, some, the winners of this game will play the winners of England-Australia in the semi-final. That will be at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, UK time. The, the losers of both those respective bouts will play each other tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock UK time. El Pibe on his toes, runs through on the inside and takes Lee Jammer. Clockwise call on Optimus Quad there, but El Pibe round the outside of monkey business. Listen to the crowd and Captain Malice applauding. Arms in the air in celebration and the crowd responds. El Pibe is definitely a fan favourite. You can tweet us at, oh, at MRDWC. No, it's USS. Ah, got you. My apologies. Yeah, I know. I've been here all week. <laughs> If you tweet us directly with any shout outs for these skaters, we will put them out for you. They've been doing some great work today, live on the feed. This is the Quad Skate Shop, the Europe's original brick and mortar roller derby equipment supplier. Quad Roller Skate Shop that has the best selection and most stock of any store on the continent. With excellent consultation services, only a fellow skater can provide. We've got all your needs covered. We love this game, say Quad Skate Shop. What a race out we had there between Saratu so and Kian David. Saratu did just win it. As Kylian Avi tries to pick up some points, but he can't. Saratu is picking up all the points there. Four points for the Argentinian general. As Kylian Avi still making his way through the pack. He's got to pass the Beast and Castillo. And then Sanchez is the last blocker there. Oh, it's Castillo picking up a direction of gameplay penalty there. As Saratu on his second scoring pass. Slash Gordon and Skernix and Kendall Heros trying to get to him. Oh, Monsieur Furio, little hop on the apex. No one saw him coming. Yeah, Sorry, Kian David. Kian David is a difficult one. We're so used to his... Saatu seeing the movie was very close. He calls the jam, but Saatu had picked up all four points. He passed everyone legally already. So, just going into it, we have 15 and a half minutes to go. Argentina in the blue and white. Uh, on 84, France in the red on 238. And go. Argentina currently have six skaters, I believe. Six, and I think only five of them may be healthy. I know the medics were over the Argentinian bench earlier. I can't see here off the top of my head. We've got Sanchez and Optimus Quad and the Beast still on track. Uh, Castillo, El Pibe, and Sartre have all jammed. And so I look, no, yep, yeah, must have been everyone back up. Some, oh no, now they're down to five. Castillo has fouled out. Argentina are down to five skaters. And they're soldiering on. And the crowd are loving it. You can hear them cheering on. The Argentinians now down to five skaters. 15 minutes left on the clock. And they're going to keep going. So they're the most, they can only field the same. So it's going to be the same players. It's just whether they swap the positions around between blocker and jammer this is this is going to be tough on the argentinians 15 and a half minutes to go well this is this is where cardio comes into play so for those of you who have ever played a survival tournament <laughs> oh, it's no. basically that for eight straight seven or eight straight jams and that's what you're going to be doing the, as we had earlier that tweet that came from argentina from uh, at gimme underscore daft these men are gladiators Com and they're not backing down and i'm not shut up just listen to this <laughs> uh, 
absolutely fantastic. The crowd support for Argentina over here, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, these guys are putting on a great display of skating, derby, guts, courage, everything right here. They're leaving it all on the track, and it's wonderful to see. So we're just waiting for the... So what's going on now? It looks like we're all OK. So once again, 15 minutes, 22 on the clock. Argentina in the blue and white on 84. France on 238 in red. OK, so the reason for the delay was potential uh, penalty box violation for the Team France jammer. However, the fact that uh, Rocky Bush is out there makes me think that probably not everything's OK and away we go. Rocket Bush has lead jammer. El Pibe is out behind and chasing him down. El Pibe, when he gets into that low striding stance, he is... He's sure that he's basically waist height of most other skaters here. He does that lovely little hop around the French skater to avoid contact after the whistle. Smart play. El Pibe is going straight back out, and I think that's really what's going to have to happen here. He, doesn't, he doesn't really have a choice. I mean, yeah. it was a case if he did actually go and sit down on his bench and then, and then sub him back on by his teammates. He's that, the only man there. Yeah, sorry, bud, you've got to keep going. However, Team France have now taken the timeout. Well, wow, this, this either might be a great show of sportsmanship by the French to allow the other teams to get a bit of rest, which would be a great thing to see, or they may just want to get a bit of rest for themselves or settle themselves down. I think they've had some issues with penalties themselves, and I think they probably want to sort that out right now. Yeah, I can see Slash Gordon straight away, hands down, the universal calm down, the hand signal. Yeah, I think the French have realized they, they, they probably won this one. They just now want to sell themselves in, ready to take on the winners of England versus Australia. Exactly. Which, if that turns out to be England, that could be a very, very interesting game, England versus France. Yeah, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, that, that would be. be. A, I mean, Obviously, sudden discomfort and Toulouse have a great long last run. And both those teams, the spines, of their national teams. Yeah. Which is a great little thing to see, I think. Uh, and of course, uh, Kylian David. Yes, he's going to know the sudden discomfort players very well, isn't he? Yeah, he's, it, shortly after the European Championships mm -hmm. last summer, uh, he moved to London and now skates for SDRD. He does indeed. And if you're sat at home enjoying watching these Argentinian and French skaters here putting on a great display of skill, you are cordially invited to please donate anything you can to these ongoing broadcasts. There's a donate button at the top of the page. Uh, and any money you can spare will be shared evenly between ourselves and tournament running costs and the travel costs of all the teams here. As El Pibe takes the lead jammer past Number 27, Monkey Business, as Ultimate Squad does we can find Goat Hygienic. Uh, we do have a power jam. I'm not sure what's quite happened. Uh, that is going to be... Uh, the cleaner is currently sat in the penalty box. Maybe in that possible penalty box violation we saw earlier. Possibly, yeah. I mean, that could have been why. Yeah, 129, the cleaner, I believe. Uh, so, uh, 129's Rocket Bush. Rocket Bush. Uh, but from what I can see here... Oh, yeah, I'm looking at the bench with the guy with the star on. My apologies. This is the... The views from this table are really killing us today. <laughs> I see here Kendall Heroes is now being goaded between the remaining four, four Argentinian skaters. As Kylian David is... On as a blocker. Kylian David is on as a blocker. It was something that he was doing a lot more for Toulouse before he joined Southern Discomfort. Mm. Kylian David as a blocker, though, is a scary puzzle because he's very strong. Some big hits from both Monkey Business and Kendall Heros. Uh, LP by the side in now, we'll call that one. He took a big, big hit at the end. I mean, he's now going to have to go back on track after jamming like that. And he sat down and he's going to be way straight back on. Uh, it's Saratu oh. has taken the star. It is, but they're, they're letting LP Bay rest. I think they're going to field a jammer short, sorry, a blocker short to let their jammers rest. Might, although that's not a good sign. The medic is currently heading over to the Argentina bench. I would assume that will be for El Pibe. It will be El Pibe. They're going to... Are they going to keep going? They're keep going with four skates? Actually, yeah. Look at, what we, look at what we've seen from these guys already this weekend. They're not going to quit for anything. They'll keep going if they only have one skater. We all know that right now. So R2 here working hard to try and make his way past the French wall as the cleaner gets out clean and picks up all the points. Ultimus Quad here gets forward and tries to break apart that wall, maneuvering, maneuvering spider has got out of the way. So R2 now still trying to get through his initial pass as the cleaner finds the space around the outside. The Beast and Ultimus Quad doing what they can. They get a 
Oh, no. So Art is off for a cut Tra track. Yeah, cut it track. was Asselhoff that forced the penalty. Asselhoff, again, another very experienced skater here. You mean, you look at the French line, it's just massive experience, massive experience, massive experience everywhere. As the beast goes off for a low block. He was hoping that it was going to be a back block call. Uh, just by the signal, but unfortunately not for in that case for him. Optimus quad on his own here at the front. There's not much he can do against the cleaner. Although Sanchez just come back on. And straight goes for a cut track. As it's always hard when you're tired, and it's always hard when you're short staff, but Argentina really starting to get uh, hit. But they've, they've cracked triple digits, though. They're out to 102 points now against France's 266. You just imagine what would Argentina have been like if they'd have brought, you know, just 12, not even 14, not even the full roster 20, but 12 skaters. Imagine what they could have done this weekend. 12, 12 skaters of this caliber would have made everyone stand up, pay attention, be very, very concerned. Eight skaters have made everybody stand up and pay I'm, attention. I'm talking even more. That's what I'm saying right here. So we do have... Just over 11 minutes left. Argentina in the blue and white, 102. Uh, they are down. They started with eight due to foul outs. They're currently down to five. However, fitness and fatigue might make an issue on that as well. Uh, we have France in the red on 271. It looks like Slash Gordon has just called an official review. Yeah, Slash Gordon here, captain of the French, has called an official review. Optimus caught the only skater currently eligible to be on track for Argentina <laughs> stands. As El Pibe is just taking medical attention again on the Argentina bench. He's not coming on as a blocker. I think they're saving him for the, for the star. Yeah, I think it might be a case of, you know, he works so hard. Mm. And yeah, he gives, so, I mean, not that the rest of them aren't, don't get no. me wrong. But he just gives it so, so much. And he just, he, think he just needed that break. Um, so... So we're just going to see what's going on here for the official review. Hopefully someone will let us know so we can let you lovely people know at home. Yeah, we're currently at 11 minutes and three seconds left on the clock. France up to 271 points. Last time they scored 30. And Argentina on 102 points. Argentina again did start on those eight. Eight players are down to four, five now. So just waiting for the results of an official review. Whilst this is ongoing, this uh, next jam will be coming from GB EMS. That provides the event, medical cover, and ambulance transport across the UK. They are the sponsors of the Pivot Line. Uh, GB EMS have been a little bit busy today. We've had a couple of injuries, and they've been seen to Argentinian Jama El Pibe. But he's still sat there, and this there is no further need. Is he making his way back onto the track? He's coming on as the blocker, as El Pibe. They, they can't give him the pivot, the pivot's in the box as well. That, that penalty box uh, is sponsored, of course, by Royal Derby City. They're uh, sponsored the penalty box. We've seen a lot of business today from both teams. So, okay, we're just going to get a quick update on exactly um, what that was. So, uh, in the meantime, Kian David against two blockers nips through. He takes lead jammer status. Uh, it's an illegal procedure on the Argentinian jammer, who I believe was Serratu, yeah, uh, for the leaving box. the box. Yeah, he went into the middle. I was waiting for I to did see it, and I was wondering if it was going to get called or not. So, that means he will have another penalty minute in the box. Uh, which the French will take, obviously, full advantage of, as Mr. David does just skates laps now, as his blockers just make him enough space for him to do so. The Beast is back on track now, though he's obviously the pivot. If he bumps into his own player there and mails Oh, beautiful jump around Al Pibe, picking up five more points. The Beast working hard to get back with his teammates now. Obviously, now three blockers on track. Let's see if they can slow down the wonder that is Mr. David. And Al Pibe does, he forces him to the inside, but and he gets all the way around. But a multiplayer block called Al Pibe. It was a back block, I'm sure I saw was the indication of a back block, I think. Uh, I, thought, I was looking at the APR who signaled multiplayer. So. And I was looking at the, insert, at the IPR. <laughs> a penalty was definitely called, it was one or the other. Yeah. As Maelstrom makes his way to the box, as now Santa is back on track. As right. is Saratu. Saratu as he leaves the Roller Derby City penalty box. Uh, so R2 really been struggling with these strong French walls here. 
X Wing and Angry Bear working really well together with Maya Yadis. Oh, caught napping on the inside <laughs> by Saatu. Let's see what Kilian David. Oh, beautiful work there by Saatu to duck in front. Oh, seal club from Kilian David, but not enough to stop the Argentinian jammer who, calls the, uh, sorry, who forces Kilian David to call the jam. Although, Argent uh, sorry, France, my apologies, in that jam have now tripped the 300 mark. Bang on 300 points. Uh, very well done by the French team. I think that's versus 102, yep, with yep. just over nine minutes left to go. Yeah, nine minutes and ten seconds left on the clock. As, yeah, Sanchez taking the star for Argentina as Artu now is now blocking in the middle. This is basically if the Argentinians get a rest by blocking. That's how it's working for them right now. Sanchez finds the space around side. Oh, and dots the inside and takes the lead jammer for Argentina. It's, you just start to run out of words for what these guys are doing. You know, just words that he's, he's called it off, taken down there, but he's then called it off. You do really, what these guys are showing here with... He's the spirit of Derby. Yeah, and just the sheer determination and the fight and the effort. I'll tell you one thing, though. One thing that is going to happen tonight, these guys are going to sleep well. Oh, yes. These guys, again, going back to that tweet, they're gladiators. There's no quit in any of these skaters right here. They're leaving everything on the track, and that's a wonderful thing to see here. Uh, especially this being the, you know, the first time everyone's really seeing these skaters here uh, on an international level. And once again, uh, oh, forearms penalty called on Serratu. Serratu's really caught a lot of, of these forearms penalties. And uh, that gives the cleaner here a chance to pick up a lot more points for France with eight minutes left on the clock. It'll PB back on the track as a blocker now, though. And proving that he's just as effective. Well, blocking and jamming the same skill set, really. It's just one of them you just get to, dip, to run around a bit faster. And a cut track called there on Optimus Quad. Optimus Quad waving for the cameras <laughs> as he makes his way through. He's skating slow, though. He's tired. But I think he's accepted the result, and he's showing his appreciation to the fans, and the fans love him for it. Oh, despite the best efforts of Sanchez, that was, he couldn't quite stay inbound. I can see hiding behind the crowd there, Govera has got his shirt on a stick and is waving it like a flag over on the far end of the track. LP Bay is now the only blocker there. And Sanchez nearly takes out the outside pack ref on his way. LP Bay is the smallest player on the track and he's doing everything to throw down the cleaner there. Uh, so Artie comes back on track. Just double checking with. Okay. Yeah, it looks like, despite the best effort, Argentina, I think he knew it. Optimus yeah. Quad knew it. He has fouled out that oh, seven. That's a beautiful straight. Braveheart of the French team is just embracing Optimus Quad. Really uh, hoping that the cameras oh. pick that up. It's, it's not just, it's this not is, just this Braveheart, is all the French big Jim. They've just they've grabbed him and they're giving him a hug. His man has tears in his eyes. Didn't, didn't get that. It's it sounds like, unfortunately, due to lack of players, I think Argentina are down to three skaters. That, that's going to have that to be the game. That is the forfeit. Unfortunately, I was concerned that that might happen um, with the you know, purely with the lack of numbers that they had. Yeah, that was, that was always been the way that game was going to end once they started losing players. They've, uh, they, they, unfortunately, the penalty's got the better of the Argentinians there. But this crowd, this crowd loves Argentina right here. If you're watching live on the feed, everyone is up on their feet, ready to shake hands with every one of those skaters who have left everything here on the track. And so, they've made their nation proud. I mean, just to give you an idea, I mean, with just under seven minutes left of an hour long bout, uh, Argentina scored 102 against France's 300. And ten. 310. 310 there for the Just French. Just to give you an idea, yesterday Germany in a half an hour bout uh, scored 14 against France's 251. Yeah. So that's Argentina with eight skaters, then seven, then six, then five, then four. 
And I really hope you guys oh can God. see this and right. hear it. I'm getting goosebumps. There is the tunnel of love by the fans here for Argentina. Everyone is up on their feet for these guys. They've all the way around the track. It's um, looking at it from here. There's Team France. There's Team England. There's fans. There's the medics are involved the in this. The EMS is there. They Some of the staff. This is. This is the spirit this, of Derby right here, right now. This is everything about this sport that makes it so special right here. Only thing I'm jealous is that we can't be there. <laughs> I'm grabbing them. I'm going to hug them all. I've decided this. There is nothing but love for the Argentinian skaters here. And the French. There's a big, big cheer for the French skaters. And they, they've done a wonderful job here. Uh, they'll be going forward to face the winner of uh, the Wizards of Oz Australia and Team England here. So, yeah, the winners of that bout will play France at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. And the losers will be facing Argentina, Argentina. at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, UK time, that is. Yeah, that'll um, be tomorrow, that, all tomorrow. What, a, you know, just the atmosphere, the love. It's, you've seen it all weekend. We've seen yep. it, especially with Argentina and with Ninja Pan. Mm -hmm. They're the teams they've especially that have seen it. Favorites. I mean, you can see that. Just, they've come here. And for most of them, it's the only guys that play Derby in the entire country. Yep. And they've come on and they've, they've left everything on the track. They've played their hearts out and they've captured the hearts and minds of the fans here. It's been absolutely fantastic. We're going to be cutting this one short, obviously, here over on the Quad Skate Shop track. And we'll be passing over to the studio. I've been Captain Malice watching this wonderful game here with my good and dear friend, King Crazy. It's goodbye Thank you very much. Goodbye. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.